Let's turn those goals into affirmations. For this portion of the course, you'll need a notebook, two different colored pens, collage paper, and scissors. Let's start by writing 10 to 20 goals, or as many as you like. Here's a suggestion when it comes to writing down your goals. Try not to think so much about when this goal is supposed to become a reality or what type of goals you're writing. For this portion, it's about going with the flow and having fun as you write down your goals. The more you write down your goals and the more in the flow you are with writing them, the more creative inspiration you'll have. Just dream big and keep on writing. For this next step, you'll want to have a different colored pen than the one you first wrote your goals in. And let's start thinking about when do you plan on accomplishing these goals? Review your goal sheet and Circle the goals that you plan on accomplishing within the next six months to a year. And for the goals that are not circled, you want to write down the time frame in which you plan on accomplishing those particular goals. So as you can see here, I circled my goals that I plan on accomplishing within the next six months to a year. As for the rest of my goals, I wrote down the time frame in which I plan on accomplishing those particular goals and I consider them as my long-term goals. The time frame that I wrote for those goals were between three to ten years. Now that we sorted out our goals, let's turn them into affirmations or in this case we're going to turn them into I feel statements. For this portion, you will need your scissors, collage paper, pens, and this is optional, but you could use a ruler or I used a box that's made for a deck of cards to measure out affirmation cards. This will all come in handy later and don't forget to have fun as you're creating this. Create and cut out affirmation cards to the size of your liking. And in this case, I stacked my collage paper together just to make it easier when I cut out the affirmation cards. Once you have cut out your affirmation cards, it's time to write down your I feel statements. Don't forget to have your goal list with you as you write down your statements. So we're going to write down each goal that you circled into I feel statements. For example, my first goal on my list is to sell a car. And I'm going to write down the statement as if I have already sold the car and how I felt about it after selling the car. I wrote that I felt happy after selling the car. But you can use other words like content, excited, accomplished, and you want to do that with every single goal that you circled. Make sure that you have enough affirmation cards cut out for this portion. Also, make sure to leave some room when writing down your statements. Once you're done writing down your statements, you can review them and notice how you feel. I know that I felt motivated to reach my goals. Make sure to set them aside because we will use them later on in this course. It's time to create our own vision board. But before we do, let's talk about what is a vision board. A vision board is a visual representation of the goals you want to accomplish, which can contain images and text. It could also contain pictures, magazine cutouts, affirmations, and quotes. The purpose of a vision board is to remind you of your goals and why you do what you do every day. 
It's a perfect creative project that can help you stay aligned with your goals. A suggestion would be to display your vision board in an area where you can see it daily so that you can stay motivated to make your dreams a reality. What you'll need are the affirmation cards that you wrote in the beginning of the course that were inspired by your goals, as well as collage paper, glue, and scissors. When choosing the photos that will be placed on your vision board, try to choose photos that match the goal slash affirmation that you wrote. I decided to also create my vision board on a sheet of collage paper. However, you can create one on a large board or canvas. The photos I used were from Canva, but you can use whatever form of images that fit your board. To begin this project, let's start by cutting out the photos that you have. I chose one image per affirmation. However, you can have as many images per affirmation as you like. Once you have finished cutting them out, it's time to rearrange them. Another suggestion would be to put the most important image in the middle of your vision board. In this case, I chose to put the car because it represents one of my biggest desires to sell a car. Once you have rearranged your images, it's time to glue them onto your board. I use a glue stick for this, but you can use whatever glue you like. After you have finished gluing the images to your board, it's time to match the affirmation to your image. What I did was cut out the affirmation portion that's on my card. The scraps of the card I used as a border. The border is an easy way to highlight your affirmations. In case you don't have enough scraps to make a border, you can glue it on as it is or cut out borders using additional collage paper. As you're creating this, don't forget to have fun as you imagine each goal becoming a reality. This is the way that I have created vision boards and it has helped me to stay motivated. I encourage you to be as creative as you can with your vision board and choose images that are motivating. Once you have finished creating your board, place it in an area that will be easy for you to see. My suggestion would be to recite the affirmations that are on your board on a daily basis.